Hello and welcome everyone to this GSA 70 star group stage qualifier. We got Yale versus Saren Mew. I am Scotch and Tide Guy. You can call me Scotch. In the booth with me is Electric. How are you feeling about this race today, man? Feeling pretty great. Not quite sure what Saren's messing with, you know, doing that endless staircase BLJ. Not even required at all in any context in 70. So. If you're going to violate your run's integrity, I don't really see why that's how you're doing it. But <laughs> ultimately, despite this very weird practice decision, I am very, very excited about this race. Yale, as we've already seen, is a really, really solid player. Saren as well. I think we've got a pretty good matchup with this one. Uh, looks like, if I remember right, both of them were kind of matched up against some pretty dominant players. So should be able to see a really good showing from both these guys in this race. And it will really be a good side-by-side uh, -side comparison of two players with some pretty similar skills. Well, we saw the race between Wilco and Saramu earlier today. Saramu obviously having some hurdles to get over uh, for this race. Yale uh, taking on Zufi yesterday. Uh, Zufi in top form taking that one as well. Uh, so we'll want to see both these guys kind of recover, uh, go into this race, uh, do their best. And it looks like we should be ready to go here. Mario. Yep, no timers starting. It looks like they want to make exactly sure that uh, their file selects are good to go. Which, interestingly, you can select, I, I think, files C and B for sure, maybe even D without any time loss. Uh, but, of course, you have to time that A press as the, the hand is going over, and it can be pretty hard, especially if you're one of those rare guys that plays on a Hori, because the file select screen, uh, the hand moves a lot faster with a Hori at its notches than it does with an N64. Yeah. I find it a lot easier just to spam the start button. Yep, just, just hammer it <laughs> start A. Got to keep that file A clean, though. Well, it looks like we've got English versions on both sides of the screen here, so no time difference to start. Obviously, English version fastest on that 70-star route. Chat seeming to be very confused about Zarflon changing his name. Everyone's getting that confused, man. Everyone's there are a lot of name changes happening in <laughs> nowadays. One of these days, I might need to snipe up electric without the threes. Not sure. Well, it's, it, everyone's been doing that. You know, we had that with uh, Cheese, obviously, kind of starting that trend. Then you had what, Rock Chalk. Rock Chalk did it, and then there was, there was someone else who got it at the same time as him. Yeah, Heisenberger, I know, got it recently, too. There you go. Oh, oh and Yale. Yale with the oh, ledge grab, Saren landing on the bridge. Okay, Saren's going to come out slightly ahead. The ledge grab kills your momentum before this skip. And so, yeah, a little bit of time save on Saren's side, but both of them having that little backroom conversation with the Lakitu, it seems. Yeah, that that's that's unfortunate to see on Yale's side in particular because, um, fortunately, if if you miss Lakitu skip and you land on the bridge, you, you sustain that momentum. Um, till after lag two lets you go. Uh, Yale obviously grabbing that bridge, losing the momentum. Saren Mew falling off the edge there. Can't get himself back up. Trying for this wall kick ledge grab just does not seem to be working out for him. Okay, finally works, but Yale is already out of BOB. Saren actually, oh, getting, okay. That, that's actually the medium one. I thought that was a small for a second because I've seen big bombs so much already. Yeah. So yeah, Yale, if you get the small bomb, it's technically possible, but very difficult to actually yeah, get that that, bomb You just have almost no momentum with that small bomb. Medium bomb, it's doable. Obviously, the large bomb is what you're going for there. But Yale getting that large bomb. Moving on into Walm Fortress, Sarah Mew. Moving into Peach's slide. Put your guesses in chat. Uh, I'm going to go with the 12-8 with this one. I think I'm actually going to go with like a 13-2. Saren has kind of presented himself to not be as consistent with the slide movement as other players for whatever reason. And it's hard. It's hard to get that optimal 12x time. So, yeah, I, I think a... Actually, I think a 13-8 might be the more accurate prediction or something. A higher 13... Oh, 13-2. Okay. Okay. So a respectable 13-2. There from Saren to Yale. Take care of business here. Yeah, it looked like it. Okay, Wait, I, I had actually, to look away from the screen. 
time. It, it looked like he was going for 100 coin first, and I think he may have actually hit Wild Blue by accident. Yeah, that sounds about right. He, I did see him start to go for 100 coins, and well, there's yep, that he... blue star right there. There we go, and narrowly missing it this time, coming dangerously close with that movement. Missing a coin, but that's okay. You can miss a couple coins on this route. Eight, th or sorry, not HMC. What am I saying? Rome's Fortress is loaded with coins. I think it has like 140 something just in the level. That sounds about right. I mean, one of the highest coin counts in the game. I, I know there have been bingo spaces before that have been collect 140 coins and wombs, and it hasn't been too difficult actually. Saren Mew missing that cycle there. You're gonna have to wait around for the half side. Oh no! Oh, if he had gotten that, that, was... that blue coin, would have been his for the taking. Oh man! Was... What? That was yeah. I'm not sure what he was thinking, jumping up there like that. Because well, um, I... that platform's moving, and, and he had the ledge grab, got up, and then he went to jump onto the plat the moving platform, and that just didn't make a whole lot of sense because that thing's moving. Yeah, like, he, he was already on it. It just, it, it seemed like he, like, almost it purposely slid out. Slung yeah. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, going for Cannonless, and it's good first try. Nice to see. Yeah, using that consistent sock folder setup. Yeah, I, I forget who actually uh, came up with doing the setup from that point, but... Uh, sock folder setup is actually a considerable amount longer, if I remember right. Like, you do another ledge grab somewhere else before you even start the movement towards the plank. And I, I, I'm, I apologize because I, I don't remember whose name it was exactly, but uh, someone found that you can do the ledge grab from beside the plank like that, and it would be nearly as consistent. Ceremony Deal there. with the second try, Owlis. Nice to see. Yeah, and Ceremony finishing up that 100 coins with reds as well. Yeah, calling a race in Womps leads develop in Womps, but they certainly are not kept very often. Really, the, the stage, I, I don't think, has ever truly been the decider. I don't think there's ever been a time that, after Womps, both players have made the same magnitude of mistakes consistently throughout the rest of the run. It's a deficit for sure, but it's one that Saren can come back from, as we've seen in plenty of races in the past. Well, they're right there, you know, getting... Owlis first try. That'll be good to see. Saving a few precious seconds over Yale. Yale actually losing time to using the Owl. Uh, if you don't know, using the Owl only loses, I think, four seconds to Owlis, and so missing one Owlis costs you uh, all the time saved that that would have gotten, fortunately. Lucerne, so you're going for this texture setup. Oh, oh he misses it! Off. Does still have Wild Blue as a backup, though. I, I like to, when you're going down to Wild Blue, I like to take the path a little bit further from the wall so you can end up doing a front flip right when you get onto that flat ground down there, and it almost always works. Seems to be a little bit faster than uh, going down and then walking away from the wall to do the side flip. Yale. Done with Wong's Fortress. Gonna head up into Peach's Slide. Yeah, and Yale's got two slides for us, so... Uh, you can do the slide before or after Womps for the first time. After loses a second, but uh, for PB attempts, it makes sense since it gets you into the most reset heavy course faster. But in a race scenario, Saren taking the more optimal route. Saren trying desperately to readjust that cannon list and still not getting a success. He needs uh, to just I'm, go not, ahead and... I'm not sure what the what, what the idea was there. I mean, he, he, if if I miss. If in a race situation, if I miss the texture setup, um, usually I just go straight for sock holder because it's way more consistent. So if, for him to go for that texture setup three times in a row, missing it all three times, um, kind of an interesting decision there. Oh, yeah, definitely. And yo, with a clean slide, I'm predicting a 12-7 on this one. Looks pretty clean. 12-7 on the dot. Very nice, Yale. Your stipend will be increased for this quarter. <laughs> Sarah Mew heading back over, trying to get this cannon list. 
Nice it. second try there. Yeah. Just, what am I even saying? Second, second try. Nail into this tricky flying reds. Playing it safe, not diving too far. Okay, nice movement so far. Great movement up to that wall kick. Okay, he's getting out of womps. Scathed, but not completely broken. And one of the stages that we've seen be a huge equalizer in the past is Dark World. So Yale, although holding on to a commanding lead, he needs to hold on real tight throughout this green stalactite section. Nice job. Gets that switch. Yeah, that switch, pretty precise window that you have to hit the uh, control stick back during. Going for the speed kick. Nice and quick pace throughout here. Nice fence clip there. That fence clip long jump can be pretty difficult to position yourself for fast. Two mil Going for the safer cheese block movement. Two mil, thank you so much for the. 50 bits, much appreciated. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, just walked man. right off the edge of that block. This race just got so much closer, making that handy cycle, even with the safe movement, and yet losing it all. I, when, when you don't play confidently on those uh, moving platforms at the end, they will bite you. Well, you have to just, you have to just go with it. You cannot play that safe. Well, and the thing there was, he, you're saying he wasn't playing it safe, and you're right. And the other part was, is he wasn't, you know, he didn't have that momentum and that speed. Typically, you go for a long jump off that first moving block where you get that sixth red coin. Um, and he just didn't have that momentum. And uh, Linus, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Yeah, this is so much more of what you expect to see. A little bit risky still by uh, getting Mario to hit that wall first. There are a number of circumstances where you try to do something like that and you end up getting Mario in a position where he's not able to ledge grab. He just like kind of slides along the wall towards that like corner where the ledge and the wall meet and it just goes right past. So I'm glad it worked for him this time around, but both of them in the same stage now. Saren pulling out some nutty strats so far, having good movement. Let's see if he can make up for Yale's mistake here and solidify this big shortening of the lead. Going for the more risky long jump to the center island, it's faster, but of course, does incur some risk. And this is the type of movement you're expecting to see. Long jump, then a jump off the second platform, getting a ledge grab there instead of just landing on the platform, but it's fine. He's surviving and thriving. Much yeah, closer to Yale. Yeah, way better job with that Dark World than Yale. Obviously avoiding the late death. But just really clean movement. You know, that's the, that's the type of thing that you want to see uh, in high level play. And Yale going to be heading over. For this island now. Nice momentum, speed off that cannon. And Sarenu with that one, that one throw for Bowser. Nice. Now, as these guys are uh, exiting their respective stages, I'd just like to go ahead and say, because uh, I see a little bit of this kind of going on in chat, uh, please don't, like, really go so hard on the, like, choking thing. Like, it, it just, it, it has a lot of implications to it that a lot of runners just it, it, it just just don't do it it's I, I shouldn't have to explain it but it's, it's just not a great thing to be constantly bringing up uh when these guys are trying their hardest and it, it just sometimes things happen this is a hard game to be playing at this level but yale with a nice slide skip here and saren going for this perfect sky jump very nice. Here we go. Well, Yale looks like he's going to be setting up for that 
CCM 18. We have seen the CCM 17 in this qualifier, but typically if you go for that slide without 100 coins, uh, you're going for 18. Oh yeah, that there's really no other way about it. I, I don't really see how you would do the 100 without any kind of slide, so. Well, Once you slide, see that slide skip, you should, take it kind of safe. I should, I should specify uh, penguin slide versus slide by yourself. Right. Yale picking up that extra red just in case. Uh, fantastic. Saren had some issues during his Womps 100 coin, and that allowed Yale to develop a pretty substantial lead. Well, and he had a bunch of issues with Canvas. That was another big one. Ooh, Yale missing one coin on that arch. Yeah, picking up the that red will help him out here. Well, it looks like Saren Mew is going for... Maybe he's going to go for CCM 17. We saw it in his earlier race, actually. So. Yeah, he he's doing it. So the the big difference here, as I was saying earlier, I didn't really specify too too much, but um, for CCM 18, you typically do 100 coins with the Penguin race. Um, in CCM 18, uh, excuse me, CCM 17, you do 100 coins um, without the Penguin race. You do it first. Um, on the slide, whereas with, it's, it, with CCM 18, you do 100 coins with the Penguin, penguin Race. Um, now the question is going to be, is he going to do HMC early or is he going to do double plus? Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be at least a double plus attempt. We'll have to see how, because a lot of these guys that do this, they'll they'll see just how the first plus attempt goes. And if it goes super poorly, they'll just go ahead and scrap it, go ahead and do HMC. <laughs> Yale! Yeah! Trying for the beginner strat and just... So he went for a really, really weird... Oh, and Saren oh, missing a wall you. kick. That must have been what Yale was worried about. So, a little bit to unpack here, but normally for the strat that Yale's attempting, you start from the set, the same platform that you start the more advanced strat that Saren's going for, uh, but you, you're you further down on that... Oh, no. Oh, Saren cannot get that wall kick. That's This has killed so many of my 16 runs. Like, it... it when you're in practice, sometimes the timing just works for you constantly, but the first run you do, you just can't get it. And it, it, the worst part I think about it is at least the way I do it. I uh, go for the Mario Cam. Yeah, he, he goes for the Mario Cam later. I go for the right Mario Cam simultaneously with the wall to kick input. And it, it's so sickening when you hear the, the noise of the camera shifting where there's no wall kick and Mario just falls down. And you're just like, come on. Yeah, that's... Especially to perfect, it's that's a tough movement um, to get just perfectly right every single time. So tough, tough there on Sarah Mew's part, but also Yale just dropping straight to the bottom with that first attempt. Yale head into BBH. Sarah Mew taking care of this little baby penguin. Yeah, not sure why Yale goes for the beginner setup the way that he does straight from the top of the stage because I, I think he could get down there faster with the uh, slightly other movement, but ultimately that, that advanced strat saves a decent, I think like four or five seconds if done optimally. And so I feel like it's worth it to go for it. Um, maybe not if you're experiencing the issue Sarah is experiencing, but uh, I don't know, man. Like it's the, the real difficulty in it is just judging how far Mario is from that wall because the wall texture is so nondescript and if we had wall sliding in this game, like every other 3D Mario title, it would be such a free strat, but unfortunately not. Well, it's also tough because if you get a first in that advanced, that advanced movement um, for that particular star, you can actually uh, bonk on the ceiling. Which it's actually you. more about where you start from than it is if you yeah. get a first framer. Um, if you start from like right in that corner where the the wall you're trying to kick off meets the floor, oh, Saren just having so many issues with the side flip here. But uh, if you start right in that corner, it's really difficult to pull off the strat um, and get the wall kick in a spot where you won't bonk that ceiling like you're saying. But uh, if you go like further down, you can get a first D all you want, and it'll actually improve your chances of getting the rest of the strat. But of course, like if you go further down like that, you're going to a more uh, ambiguous position, so. It's a lot more about your experience doing the strat as far as if you'll be able to like see, okay, this is right, this is wrong every single time. But anyway, 
Moving through BBH, Saren Mew, one more star to collect here as Yale moves on to the Sand Sand Land. Nice little jump dive there for Mips it's on Yale's side, Saren Mew. Still taking care of BBH. Now, depending on what Saramu decides to do in SSL, we'll either see them meet up. Oh, Yale could just completely throw away the bomb there. It's not even that he didn't like the grab. He didn't get a chance to do the re-grab. Not sure what he didn't like about that bomb because it didn't even look like he did the control stick input. I, I guess the B input just must have come out before the control and the A. And not able to... Oh, doesn't want to follow the pyramid here. Okay, good. Good. Wasn't able to get Talon there. Kind of unfortunate. Not sure how that didn't happen. Thought he would have grabbed it. But having to go for a top of the pyramid. How many half A presses have they done so far? I know this is a meme question, but they're actually constantly using uh, A being held down and doing something else. Uh, there's what's called a buffered kick that you use all the time in the run where you have to be holding A and hit B to do a kick. Um, and so there'll be a lot of times where you hit A for something and just keep holding it for something later. Okay. So Yale with this nice second try plus. Saren getting the double jump. That's what messed him up uh, during one of his pluses in the last race I saw. Well, he's going for these secrets, so he must be super confident in these pluses. Yeah, once you get it first try, I mean, that, that's a huge confidence boost. And for someone like Saren, who's uh, shown a pretty good consistency for this trick, uh, you definitely want that time to be able to show him off and run. Commentator forgetting how English works, that sentence was a mess. <laughs> the Omi model with a nice clean talon. Good uh, star grab straight from the pyramid jump. As Saren goes in for his second plus. Gets the kind throw. Of... Medium oh. bomb throwing it right away. Going for the triple into shiny top, I think. Might be going ahead for Talon. Yep, Talon's in a good position for this backup. And this is Talon. So, okay, narrowly getting over the death plane. He's gonna have to wait for him around at this tower. And as you can already see, Yale is already in LLL with just as many stars as what Saren's wanting. So Saren needs this next attempt to work. Needs that first frame grab. Uh, you only have one frame to grab the bomb where you'll get a big bomb. Uh, if you go one frame late, that's what causes the medium bomb. Because uh, what, what you're trying to do is re-grab the bomb as it's exploding and its hitbox is expanding and its hitbox expands every frame. Or I, I'm, I'm sorry, I think it's actually a frame early that uh, you get the medium bomb instead of the large. That's my bad. Well, he's getting a large bomb here. Looking like a nice setup. Good double jump, good. okay. Good angle. That double jump is notorious. But oh, he's got his double plus in. Nearly getting the fall of shame. You saw Mario wanted. He's just standing on the very edge of that fence right now. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, how Saren Mew is just so confident with those double pluses. All right, Saren Mew picking up that shiny top and is going to be moving into LLL himself. Yale with a nice two-star lead at the moment. Let's see how this fence fly goes. And it's good. Drops nice. right on top of it. <laughs> See, so, too many people end up hitting that fence and just, just bonk right off. <laughs> it's, it's rough trying to get that back up. So now these guys are pretty much leveled out. Saren going into the volcano first. Setting up for lava boost. And it's good. Okay, I didn't actually think he was going to make it up for a second there, but wow. a nice homeless ending. Okay. Yeah, okay. super nice. Really nice use of camera there. You know, kind of a sketchy angle, but he's able to make it work. Goes for that pro pole grab, pole miss, if you will. Nice kick off the wall. Both these guys head back in to the volcano. Jeremy taking care of elevator. Yale going to go for this lava boost as well. It's up top here. Goes for this easier kind of setup for that pull grab. This little fake sink there. Finish it up. 
Yep. You always love to see when the elevator tour also goes right first try. Okay. So Saren going on in for his own little red hot log rolling, not involving, well, I was going to say hopefully any hotness, but Saren going ahead and proving commentator wrong at the expense of a couple of seconds. Trying desperately to get on top of this arch for the triple. Yeah, looks like he doesn't know spot. about the sign backup. Well, the, the arch backup is so much easier. The sign backup is very difficult, actually. Oh boy, hey, chat quoting my incorrect, uh, my incorrect statement. I'm sorry, I corrected it. I thought it through and I realized I was wrong. Chat always remembers. Nice jump dive from Saren Mew. Uh, that actually, for whatever reason, you have to be holding Z when you land on that slope to get that jump dive. Oh, so you're just getting bullied by the bully here. Wasn't yes. able to get that angle to get him just off that wooden, that big old platform. Yale firmly in triple D, taking care of these chests. Yep. Don't think we're going to be seeing any Cocom shenanigans in this DDD, unfortunately. That was a pretty entertaining bit of that raise. I simply was doing a really good job with those uh, voice voice changes. I was really impressed with his ability to uh, mimic so many voices. Yeah, I mean, he was able to nail a... Like, like, that's what's really incredible is he's from Minnesota himself. He was able to nail someone else's Minnesotan accent and make it sound like a completely different person and then just goes completely off the wall with this, like, seems like a, I, I think it was a, a Spaniard maybe that he was trying to imitate there? It was, that was similar, yeah. Spanish descent of some kind, you know. It's it very to see. Daddy-in. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> interesting to see. Very man of many talents, Big Simp. Yale heading over for this rear sub, as you can see with that camera angle. Sarah Mew heading back into Lethal Lava Land. One more star. You can kind of like see Yale swimming tight. Oh boy, here we go. Missed the fin. Okay, he's able to get back on the fin pretty handily. Nice back up there without the side flip. Wondering how he was going to accomplish that. Nice use of that kick there. Very quick reflexes. And that's kind of what I was talking about. He had to be holding A to do that kick, so he had to think well ahead of doing that kick to be able to do that as a backup. So, okay, Saren is also going to be moving his way over into DDD now as Yale picks up Manta. Saren hoping for these rings to... Okay, I thought Yale was actually going to miss that second ring. Oh, man. Yeah, as I've said before, I think that they, like, repurposed their secret code and somehow tried to modify it for moving secrets, but it doesn't work. It's very bad. So you, you have to be really, really careful around those rings. The hitbox for the ring doesn't spawn until, like, a little bit after you actually hit it. Or until a little bit after the Manta spawns it. Here Got Yale yell and fire see though, okay. Oh yeah. This is a tricky one. This is all about staying on this cycle. Any Good movement so far though. I think he's gonna be able to make it. Not pulling out the Saren's but Did he get that coin? I, I couldn't actually see. It, I don't think he got it. Based on that camming, I do not think he Nope, no coin there. Oh boy. This is what Saren needs. I know there have been plenty of people waiting for me to say something like that, so here we go. <laughs> Yale missing that. That definitely will mess up his cycle. Yeah, the best you can hope for is the normal cycle, which pretty considerable time loss he had to take there. Oh, is he going to get this? Oh, 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 he takes it death. oh, no. That's bad. So he was just a little too far forward trying to get that lava boost as the elevator was coming down and, and the worst part about that was he didn't need that like he could yeah. have just taken it as slow as he could he had like an extra 10 seconds or something to well no even more than that i think i, I don't even know that was just ridiculous yeah those those elevators or whatever you want to call them stairs were coming down um so he definitely had plenty of time i mean he didn't even need to do that long jump necessarily to be able to get that um, but looks like he should be able to get 
Oh, well, with that slide, he's not going to get those early Ellie's this time. But he Hopefully should this be early cycle is still on the table. Yeah, as long as he's able to get this triple jump, and he will. All right, yeah, no lava boost. And he's acting like he's got the green poison uh, mod on where the one-ups will kill you or something. One-up just wants desperately to be held by Mario, and Mario's just saying, no, I gotta go fast. Oh, Saren Mew getting... We're falling straight through that little hole, unfortunately. Did he also miss the red? No, so he, so he got the red in the top corner, then went to go for that, that third one underneath the elevator but he fell through where the uh, the hole where the pole is oh way back okay. so him oh able to get it not making the same mistake that yale did yeah the later late boost this. here still can't believe he went for something like that but it did work in his favor this time at least one little interesting optimization I want to point out that Saren does is when he does the movement to get that third red under the elevator, uh, he purposely gets Mario to like land on the ground just before falling through the hole, and that actually allows you to get a dive after getting the red coin instead of having to kick. So it's just a teeny bit faster, uh, makes the movement a little bit more free even. Yale taken care of. Fire C Bowser. Still managing to get upstairs before 30 minutes. It's not too bad. Yeah, especially with the multiple deaths and everything. Not something to sweat at in any way, shape, or form. Heading into wet dry world, though. Yeah, we've seen plenty of people have issues with 100 coin already in previous tournaments and such. So let's see how his wet dry world 100 goes. Looks like he's actually going for something else. Nope, he's just going for a weird camera angle and paying for it. The skater just bopping him. Wrestling him down like one of those mud hogs that bet down at the ranch. Okay. Meanwhile, that other one ain't getting in his way, no way, no how. <laughs> Got this good little sacred over here. Come here, little piggy. Alright. Heck yeah, brother. Doing a really nice job so far. Getting that good earned earned side flip. Nice little coins, avoiding that little shocky shocky. All right, good old movement on them there cork blocks. I remember my brother used to make cork. I lost his hand to one of them cork making machines. It was real sad. We called him One Nub Tom. Having that there Chucky reminds me of when Billy and me would race. Sarah Mew heading up into Wedge Our World as well. Yale doing a really nice job. Pretty clean 100. And secrets. As long as you can finish this up. Not sure what he was pausing there for. Yeah, kind of weird. It's time. <laughs> Rage pause there, but is at 100 coin. Relatively unscathed. Although the audience with that commentary may not quite be in the same boat. <laughs> and Yale actually in the chat saying to please stop. Okay, brother. Oh, Saren knew that's Skeeter. Completely very bad RNG went all the way into the corner. Yale! More of this rage pausing action looking like Tabaskoff. Okay, is able to get that coin block on that like third side flip or something. Okay. Let's see how these wall kicks go. These can be pretty difficult to time. Especially like when you get towards the top of the tower, you actually start seeing uh, a bit more lag. And so it kind of affects the timing. Oh boy. Oh, RNG. Oh, just, just take but, the, just take the blocks. Yeah. He does did. he know? I mean, okay. I, I guess he's taking the late box, but that's, yeah. that's a weird decision. I think the box that's in this corner might be a little bit faster. I'm not sure to be honest. 
Um, my assumption would be that the one later, the only reason why I would say that the one later is faster is because it's less out of the way. Um, you know, you can long jump over and grab it and long jump right across versus having to come all the way around. And that's what he's going to do. Oh, that was a bit risky there, taking it with that movement. It looked like he was going to actually end up a bit short of the bridge, and that triple jump wall kick to get back on top is so hard. Well, especially since he hit... Uh, if he had hit that switch, it could have been a little bit less difficult. Yeah, a little sketchy movement there. Get on top of the town. Let's see how Saramu does with this triple here. Nice and clean. That can be a pretty difficult triple to land. A punch and a kick. Trying to look for a dive there, probably. Wasn't getting it. Yale. THI secrets. Okay. Oh, bonk. Spicy so far. Oh, and Saramu. Need to beat this elevator. Not able to get into where the star is before the elevator comes up. And Yale having difficulty with this mountain clip. Okay, manages it this time. Wait, Doesn't get, the, get secret. the secret! <laughs> yeah, it, it, it has a tad of delay between when you grab the secret and when the cutscene starts. So, like, you want to be starting your movement towards there, but... Uh, fortunately realized before we got too far down the slope, Saramu bonking instead of taking the warp, just unnecessary time waste on a very easy star, unfortunately. And then bonking on the box, almost taking a burn. That would have been kind of tough to mitigate. Yeah, weird bonk there on the corner, just slightly too far on the edge of that box. Yale going to be scaling this mountain now. Choosing not to go with the clip. Okay. Nice mountain star. Sarah, meanwhile, going for the top of the town. Yale seeming to forget about continuing without saving for a second there. Yeah, he's had a couple of spots there where he's just kind of either taking his time or seem to make pretty simple like weird mistakes that weren't aren't necessarily part of the run per se i don't know how to describe it other than that yeah Yeah, I can definitely agree with Milo on that. TTC 100, a very difficult star. Oh! Wow, Saren doing a really nice job. Making sure that that burn didn't cost him anything. But Saren showing off how to do secrets. A little bit simpler, a little easier way yeah, to take that... care of those secrets in THI. And that more beginner route working out for him this time around. Right, Yale with the first mountain clip. That was a weird angle. Trying to get out of the water in this upper water here. Managed to make it. Oh! Ground, the huge ground pound. Just a tad late on both the Z press and the A press, I guess. Yeah. I mean, anytime you're in the air, a Z is registered as a ground pound. So I think yep. he just tried to long jump on the very, very tip just to maximize that long jump wall kick chances. Well, it's, it's weird even, like, even if you're on, like, a slight edge, if you hit that Z button, it's going to take, it's going to give you a ground pound. Um, so, yeah, I'm going for these reds as the backup. You can kind of see, based on the slightly imprecise movement, how tilted he is already on this. Yeah, the, the candidates for the hardest start in the game, in my opinion, at least from what I've seen and from, like, my limited gameplay knowledge, uh, lack of two bounce, pillarless, and TTC 100, I think, are pretty well the three that the majority of runners would agree. At least one of them takes the cake of the hardest.
Yale trying to get that bomb. They did not get the kick off the log. Gonna go for another backup here. Can't decide. I wants to grab this box. Here we go. Takes care of it though. Yeah, but Jordan is saying, you know, pitiless can be hurt, but it's it's not the hardest. I, I think it really depends on the runner and how comfortable you are with those frame perfect timings. Because that, that's a, a huge bit of difficulty in the strat, is being able both to grab the bomb very precisely and then also uh, doing those double jumps later on very precisely. Meanwhile, TGC 100 is just a lot of hard movement. There are a few jumps that are still very precise, but for the most part, it's difficulty just comes from how much pretty hard movement is all strung together as one. And lack of two bounce, uh, like it's not frame perfect anywhere, but uh, it's difficult uh, timing everything right with how exactly you do the side flip and maneuvering yourself to be in that optimal position to bop the lack of two, then get uh, up onto that platform. Well, Yale continuing to have a little bit of difficulty with that clip. Oh, just runs straight off the edge. Oh boy. And he's just gonna sit there for, like he's he's been doing that multiple And Saren, times meanwhile, now. Saren is paying for his weird setup here. I'm just gonna come out and say it. He he's not going right before doing the long jump. And I think that if he if he practiced that for a little while, he'd have a lot more consistency on this mountain clip. Because that's not the first time today he's had issues with it. Yeah, this mountain club not something not as straightforward as it might seem. You see that that's what Yale's doing right here with that kick and such. When you move yourself more right for that uh long jump, you end up higher up on the slope. Ooh, Saren going with a dead on angle for the mountain clip. He's yep, I knew that was gonna happen. The second I saw him jump for the water there, I knew that was gonna happen. I just didn't have time to say it. I hate when that happens. You can hit the death plane just before the water warps you up. And that happens. You, you see what you want through the lens of the death animation. Saren had a good opportunity. And again, yeah. just go more right, dude. Come on. He needs to jump dive to the right, and he needs to position himself more right for the long jump here. See, I think he barely did it that time. That's a, that's a good entry, but the, the setup he used for it is just, I, I cannot approve of it. I already have enough trouble with, like, the rest of the strat as is, like, the mountain clip is only remotely consistent for me because of me replicating that wiki. Dude, oh, wow. fantastic, the exact same. That's the entire reason I bothered trying it. And, like, I, I'm probably going to try to get it consistent before I do runs because I, I hate the long movement. All of it's either, like, I either have to do the very slow long movement or it's very inconsistent. And I, I figure, like, it, it's the same with me and Bits with the woodblock movement versus the uh, standing left side. If I'm going to invest that much time in a strat, it may as well be a fast one. Well, as Saren is still in TTM, taking care of Reds, Yale, and SL taking care of that top of a snowman star wall is just over the ridge there as well we yeah with a nice ice house in the yeah freeze. you'll want me one me on the wood block it's not free dude i don't know just how bad of a player i apparently am but it's not free for me and yet standing left side is now free for me so i, I don't know what to tell you Do I take payment in bells? I, I take payment in exquisite fossils. And he has bells. Sucky was saying he can't wait for season two, not realizing this is the very, very start of season two. This group stage will be leading right into the uh, actual quote unquote season two tournament. So you're technically seeing part of season two already. Yeah, I think the qualifiers here. Uh, if you want to see everything that GSA has to offer, make sure you check out exclamation point schedule. See what everything GSA has to offer. Smo any percent in full swing. Celeste in full swing. 
Oh, uh, Siren, getting the roll out and they clipped him right back over the fence. That is awful. Yeah, not a great angle there. It, it's really it unfortunate. He had a he had a huge opportunity to save time over Yale's TTM, but just could not capitalize on it. That mountain clip getting him so much trouble. Finally got on top here. We go ahead and slide into that star, one of the lowest stars to the ground in the game. Yale talking to Todd, heading into HMC. HMC late, pretty standard for the 70 star route. Everyone knows when you say you're looking forward to the season, it's the regular season. I mean, as a commentator, I was just looking forward to any gameplay to commentate. I, I, I had my itch. I was in withdrawal, man. I, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah, with that nice triple box jump to go ahead and start us off here. Oh, Sarah you. with the bonk during this more uh, safe movement here. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big bonk too, especially in that specific spot here in SL, and he goes for um, Reds here in SL. He's gonna be doing Stomp on the Thwomp standalone. I guess he's not too confident in his TTC 100. And I, you know what, that's totally fair, considering how, you know, just the difficulty level of TTC 100. It still surprises me that an optimal Stomp on the Thwomp is actually, I think, faster than THI Reds and SL Reds. Because I, 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 I've heard before that you can't do... Well, I mean, obviously you can do both of them to just completely replace all of that uh, movement, but it, I, I've heard it's slower if you do both SL Reds and THI Reds to replace the entire TTC 100. Oh, what is... What? Was, what? what was that? What What? What was Yale even going for? I, I think I, he may have been trying some sort of triple jump or something to get on top of that emergency exit platform, but... I, I think he missed the triple jump and then he grabbed the ledge, but because the ledge was so close to the ground, it registered Mario as being on the ground. It just slid him straight down. That was, that was so strange. I tried rewatching. I wasn't able to get it, but that would be my suspicion. Yale firmly with this five-star lead in HMC. Saren Mew going to be finishing up SL right here. Rolling Rocks being nice to Yale. Staying all the way there to the right. So Yale gonna be making his way up to Tippy. Good question in chat. You know, uh, no, figuring out about these qualifiers. If you want to see uh, exactly who are who all is in the qualifier, make sure to type in exclamation point bracket in chat. You'll see where all your favorite runners are at, who they have to go up against, that sort of thing. Of course, last but not least, exclamation point merch. Check out all the shirts, hoodies that GSA has to offer. Pretty nice looks. Yeah, and the Yale. command Milo just threw in the chat, um, exclamation point leagues, that'll give you all the league info you need. So like you said, the top nine Div 1 runners automatically got into season two. No need for any qualifier. Yale has lost 10 seconds to pauses. I, 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 it's it's, it's got to right? be upward, upwards of that by now. He, like I've, I've seen that I know of three pauses that took at least three seconds. Like, what even? Yeah, it was not uh, at all sure what on what earth is, he's doing here. I mean, those are those are definitely rage cams right there. <laughs> Cheeky ledge grab there on the turning platform. Just gonna go ahead and block block it too. Block it too before he goes into the maze, I guess. Nope, nope, he's, he's doing the just straight beginner movement here. He does not have time to mess around with Lakitu in his games any longer. Well, let's see how this goes. I, I, oh, 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 oh. 
Yeah, and, and that was just from him being too far forward. That wasn't from him mistiming it. He just didn't hit the platform at all. And the the intense rage pausing. I mean, that was five. That's got to be four, three seconds there. Lost just, a lot of extra time. Just, I mean, this is so reminiscent of Tabaskoff race one of the D2 uh, final. Okay, he managed to avoid that log. Okay, that's the big risk in doing this strat, and that is why I'm learning lack of two bounds because of that freaking log. I hate that log. It's very difficult to do that long jump and not bonk that log and also get the ledge grab. Very hard. So in that time, Sam and Mew has been taking care of HMC. Talking to Todd here. And he's going to be making his way into Tippy as well here in just a sec. A first try Lakitu bounce could definitely put him a lot closer to Yale's position. Okay, Yale not wanting to rely on that slide to collect the coin, so just going to go ahead and do some fancy movement to get a wall kick away from it. Still be about as fast. Yeah, oh man, the wind in Rainbow Ride is just wretched. I, I hate all wind in this game because the jump mechanics just fall apart. Like, a side flip will go the opposite way. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, you'll hold forward and then back. You should be back flipping, right? Mario will do the back flip animation, but the breeze will force you forward. But if you do the same thing in reverse, it, it'll still act the same. Like, it's it's... It's like the wind is always going the wrong way toward. It doesn't make any sense, man. Like, I'm just telling you straight, it does not make sense. I don't know what the wind is doing, but. Uh, Saren has 59 stars because he's not doing TTC 100. He's going to be showing off the standalone stomp on the thwomp movement as oh, Yale takes Yale! a big old death. Yeah, I just completely missed that platform. Long jump straight into oblivion. And Saren Mew is heading in now. 59 star count 59 star count as he heads in the rainbow ride. Yeah, he, he took care of SL Reds. Rather than doing TTC 100 with Stomp of the Flomp. Yeah, no problems this time. And Saren just going to go ahead and also go for this very relatively safe uh, cruiser crossing movement. At the very least, you fail it at the very end of the stage and you can just keep redoing it, although it takes so much time to redo. Okay, Yale, show us what you got in TTC. Final stage. It's only fitting that we do every single star in here because they're all fast. But, like I said earlier, this stage... Oh, it's A rough yeah, death. Huge death. You need to make up some precious time over Yale in this rainbow ride, but it does not seem like that's happening today, unfortunately. We had to... Oh, Yale! How big is that? Okay, he is surviving, but it's going to take him a while to take the movement all the way back up there. Pretty big bonk there, but... Not quite a death as many bonks in HMC end up being. Yeah, that was that was just from being in a slightly shallow position relative to that blue switch. Taking a big jump there, you can see the fear right there. Well, fortunately, he didn't really get too deep into 100s there, and you know, avoiding the death by um, only 25 coins in. So if he had taken the death, it wouldn't have been as brutal. Yeah, and he's working his way into the belly of the beast. I think he'll be pretty okay. As long as this jump works. Okay. Oh, no! what? Okay. What a save! Good backup wall kick. Good what backup wall kick. What a save. He, he knows. He's paying attention. He's really watching. And, yeah, the, the stage, I think, is really the only one that's so heavily vertically oriented. And that's that presents a problem because... Any texture that's detected as a ceiling lower down in the clock, Mario can't move above it. Like, the game will actually kind of create what looks like an invisible wall, but it's just the game, like, bonking Mario against the first spot that it won't move him into. 
And so TTC, like you're having to mitigate just all the hard movement because of the weird layout of the stage. You're having to deal with like the special positioning to try to avoid those situations that can create invisible walls. Saren, meanwhile, just trying to get a side flip on a yellow platform. That's a difficult side flip to pull off at times, as we just saw. Shout out to Big John in the chat. Appreciate all our viewers. And the save quality, of course, is for you, as I'm sure the runners would agree. More, please. I don't know if their hearts can handle that. <laughs> oh, oh no, okay. Yell taking a pretty big fall trying to get to that get a hand. Will not be getting any hands, though. I don't know why he expected that wall kick to come out. Darren Mew is two stars away. He does not have the time for these oh, or these yeah. Yale. Come on, man. He has got to be mad. Well, Yale has got to get it together here. I mean, if he can make these major mistakes that we're seeing from him, Darren Mew definitely has an opportunity. I mean, Darren Mew has been slowly but surely cleaning up most of his act, but Yale just falling apart at the seams at this point. You know, he's been holding on to this lead. He's got to keep his head down and just keep going regardless of these mistakes that he's been making. Able to get Saren. into this cage. Saren Mew with the long jump in. Oh! The wall kick right into the void. Ow, man. For a moment you thought we were watching an OT run. Yeah. I, I don't know why he's insisting on pausing so, rap so much. I mean, the, the R button is right there for you. Heck, like... Just use the L button. It won't even affect anything in the game. If you really want to just show off your rage, just take your left hand off the controller and just start slamming that L button. I don't know. Oh, and just missing that wall jump. Trying to get that ledge grab. Not able to get it. Taking another death. Saren. Oh, not, get, not quite getting the ledge grab on this block. Come on. He's almost to the thwomp. And this is like what what you're seeing from Saren's side. Like you're having to do a lot of movement just for a single naked star. Like, I, I, as you can see, like it's less movement than hundred coin. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going all the way up the tower, I feel like you may as well. I, I don't know. Well, it's it's the difference between being confident in that movement for all hundred of those coins. You know, um, sure there might there's you got to think there's there's got to be something else. That he can do other than climbing all the way to the top of that clock yeah it just if you do it optimally it happens to be pretty fast what is okay Yale. I, I don't understand how yo keeps getting that shallow of an angle it's almost like he's going for oh that. no why another death Saren needs to seize this opportunity right i mean now. this is this is a mario meltdown of epic proportions here in ttc I mean, TTC has been known to make and break runs and races, but oh my gosh, he just walked completely off the edge. What yeah. even? For those wondering what Saren just did, uh, you do have to wait for the clock to be in a specific position for certain stars. So, uh, because the I, I I believe the clock always starts at the same position, like before the level reentry, or no, I, I think it starts wherever you went into it. And so, because not all the stars are on the same uh, timing, you do have to wait at some point to do more stars. And yeah, Thomas saying, when I make a mistake and press L, I get depressed because it doesn't reload the level. Same. Same. I, I use a Hori, so I even more know that feel because the L button is just right there. Well, I, I like that, you know, I'm so used to hitting the L button to reset on things because it doesn't do anything in-game. Right. So uh, for those that don't know, in the practice ROM, it will reset the stage for you, uh, depending on how exactly you have it set up. It'll either, like, in a place like inside the pyramid, it'll either, like, respawn you in the pyramid, or it'll respawn you at uh, the beginning of SSL. Well, Saren Mew, two stars behind Yale, gonna be heading into bits now. But, much, much closer race than we initially had coming into Tippy. Tippy being the great equalizer, as we always like to say. Yeah, Wilco coming in and saying the race doesn't start until Tippy. I think with this one, we can certainly kind of agree with that. 
a little bit of a war of attrition, you know. Saren making his own fair set of mistakes in TTC, but Yale, this is one that he doesn't want to remember, honestly. This is this has been a pretty brutal tippy for him so far. Well, after tippy, he is chopping apart bits right now. Going for some form of left side. Yeah, no wall, no woodblock camera. Moving left side, wow. nice. You see a lot of guys go for that from the middle, but uh, going for that from that dead on angle, I believe is a little bit more difficult. So props to him for going for that. Making it look easy. Wow, he, I mean, after that TTC for him to just shred bits that way. Absolutely epic. Yeah, moving left is almost as hype as moving right. JK, no, it's not. <laughs> Oh, missing that first throw. And Saren making his own way into biz. Oh, Yale standing on the platform that fell. That could have been bad. Yeah, he just stayed on that pizza slice for... If he had stayed on that pizza slice for just another second, he would have been gone. Gets the first throw. Running out of time. That's the second throw. Okay, just needs one more. Oh, but missing the third. Sarah oh, music boy. moving left. Gets it. Oh, what? what? How did that miss? It must have been our camera angle. That didn't make sense. What? Okay. Okay. That's Oh boy, Sarah. Okay, now we're really off. close. I mean, Yale has got to nail this final throw. Could be hard when you got those nerves on the line. Okay, that's okay. that's dead center. Okay, it's getting a ton more points though than initially thought going into this tippy. Yeah, there there are still points on the table for Saren Mew. Uh, up to three, I believe it's three minutes apart. Alright, let's see what happens with Saren here. Okay, able to get that throw this time. And Saren has five minutes to get points out of this round. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what exact time he'll finish since he went ahead and reset. I, I don't blame him. That run was... I, I would have been feeling it too. Saren with that nice little bit of lag reduction there. This... Uh, that whole third phase of the Bowser fight can be really laggy, so oh. being able to camera way through it is nice. Man, neither of these guys are having a great time with these Bowser throws. Definitely going to be wanting to go go back to the drawing board and practice these. Oh, yeah, and they're hard, man. Once you miss one and you're out of that groove, it can be pretty hard to aim. Sometimes, like, for whatever reason, your thumb just wants to hit the button when Bowser's getting thrown dead line in front of you. And it's like, it's very rare for you to be able to get a camera angle where that actually makes sense. Well, Saren Mew finishing up now. Both of these guys. Getting points. You know, 10009 from Yale, 10123 from Saren. Under a minute 30 behind. That's going to be some decent points for Saren coming out of this group stage match. Well, not sure... We probably won't be able to get any interviews just because we got a race coming up in just a couple minutes, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we got a race coming up in negative four minutes, so I, I, I'd say we need to go ahead and uh, move on over to that. But yeah. we hope you all enjoyed watching this race. It was a great one to go ahead and commentate with my guy, Scotch and Tie Guy. I know I say this too much, but it really has been a pleasure, my man. Oh, certainly. And make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for just a moment. We're going to reset. It'll be Zufi and Saren Mew back at it uh, here on GSA. Uh, we'll be right back. Yep. Peace out, guys.